<laughs> oh, f that was scary. Welcome to the Pink Bike Preview, where we pick a local junior up and coming rider, stick a camera on them, tell them no pressure, cruise down the hill, and I'll commentate over the run. This time we've got Igor Franek. Uh, he rides on a prime bicycle made in Poland for a team based in Poland, and it's his first World Cup. Let's go to him. Yo, nazywam się Igor Franek. Jestem z tymi BSR Downhill. Jesteśmy w Czyrku na drugiej rundzie Pucharu Świata. Pokażę Wam dzisiaj trasę. Yo! Let's go, we're up the top of the track and it's a nice chill start out the start ramp. You gotta get on the gas. And I angled the camera a little bit too far down, but got on super view so we can actually see what's going on. A little bit of style off that first jump over the next one. This it's quite a um, chill lead in to this World Cup. It's nothing too technical at the start, but you can see the dust hanging in the air. Things are dry up there. And these corners are actually holding together way better than I thought they would. You can see you can flow through and at the moment, I mean, no one has ridden this track before. Oh, gapped up. High into that. Look at that fresh loam in there. That's sick. And we get a little bit of line choice in there. So there's an outside berm, but not much support with an inside with a little shark fin out. Nice and steezy. It'll be tricky to see if you can actually carry good speed around that inside as we hit some more fresh loamy stuff. Big jumps. And this is all kind of like not too far from the gondola. So you can see everyone caning down here. And oh, come on, Igor, inside in the grass. I'm guessing that'll be a corners for cash turn there. And uh, yeah, so this guy's a first year junior, first World Cup, and uh, he's just easing into it. And then, oh, let's see that again. So yeah, he gapped over that stump because you don't want to hit that stump. And the ideal landing spot is on the green line there. But if you're landing after the stump and there's a corner, you're going to end up breaking in this zone. And when you break, it creates a hole and a hole is developing here. So Igor landed right in that hole. So ideally you could jump all the way over the hole or to the side of the hole, or you could actually keep the wheels on the ground and then jump off the stump over the hole or just go around it. And these are the things that riders are thinking about as the track is developing. So let's carry on with Igor. Land in that hole, mate. Go for it. <laughs> oh, take the hit. That's a good one. So yeah, traversing across. Oh, oh, that was scary. Watch out for the ducks. That was scary. I hate ducks, man. There is a high line up there, but it looks like that low is working really good, carrying some speed. Tricky off-camera turns. You can see it's, uh, the tires are really digging in there. There's ruts developing, but then those ruts will blow out. When it rains, man, it's going to be spicy in there. Off-camber, multi-line choice in here. Now, I've seen some clips of the boulders in here are just like little baby heads and they're just rolling about all over the place. A really sketchy section and a, an interesting bit to watch. Big gap. Whoa. Okay, so oh. Oh. Another dunk. <laughs> so yeah, that one, he didn't have quite enough speed, but look at this freshness in here. It looks like most people are going low, but there are some higher lines. It'll be interesting to see if in A practice, people start getting up there. And there's a higher line next to the pad in there, but looks like Igor's going low. And in here, it's such nice terrain undulating you can pump the ground you can work it you can gap over some bits dark dirt in there and there's a gap or uh, it's like a gap roll or a rolling gap leading into that jump rail round the turn super steep into here slap the rut and carry the speed out this is such a fun track all the riders coming off the hill are just saying how good it is but it is getting cut up now we've got a big step down out of the trees carry the speed across the piece. This is one of those sections that you really have to attack when it comes to your race run, because uh, you could just go no brakes all the way through here. Now this corner is the, it's the nibbler of the track and Igor said he's taken that inside, but he doesn't think it's faster because it's quite flat on the way out. You saw him having to pedal there. So any extra speed you can carry into this section is definitely going to help. But I think it's going to be mostly down to who can lay down the most horsepower coming into this so they can carry the speed across this flatter section. And this is probably the only kind of like mellow bit in the track and it will give riders a little breather before they head into this last kind of like techie section, which is super cool. So over this crest, flat right hand are really hard to carry the speed and there's lots of roots coming out and you can see powdery dust. There's an inside over the stump there. There's another inside you can take to the right of the pad in the tree. This is very steep, big G out in the bottom, very hard to carry good speed and this is coming into the final section full gas squash it into here and actually watching this finish it is really sick so that is a run with Igor Franek thank you so much for doing that dude follow him on Instagram 
Igor underscore Franu. And uh, yeah, Yo. stay tuned for the race. I cased one jump, pretty. Oh, oh my God. Are you okay? Yeah.